I'm making flan de yema with cereza de chasso, which is basically flan with cherries from the province of Ichasso in Basque Country. I made these babies two months ago, put them to marinate in Porto wine. And can taste, have the hint of the alcohol, taste the sugar, you have the texture, they're beautiful. If you don't have those two, because you didn't get in time for the recipe, don't worry. Here is a shortcut, which is gonna give you the same result, but with frozen cherries instead. We have cherries, oporto, few spices, hold a sec. Port, it goes super well with cloth, with cinnamon and with cherries. And also I'm gonna add a hint, one star anise, because it's gonna give this Arabic influence. Check it out. Now, by burning the alcohol, I'm reducing that punch and also getting all the flavor together. But at the same time, my cherries and lemon skin. The keystone of a Spanish bakery. See in a bit. I'm gonna make the sugar, the caramel, for the flan. Check it out. This is the moment of the truth. See? Put a little bit of caramel at the base of the ramekin. Be very, very, very careful, my friend, because the caramel, it can be a nasty burn. The caramel, it looks perfect, it's firm, and it has the beautiful amber color that I was looking for. I'm gonna let it cool down. Meanwhile, let's focus on those cherries. You see, they, they're getting volume, they're getting bigger and bigger than before because they're sucking all this pork. Mm. They miss a little bit of sweetness, and since we're in Canada, Maple syrup all the way. I love maple syrup. Those guys, they're almost ready. Couple of minutes more. Let's go with the custard. So now it's time to infuse the milk with a little bit of fresh cream. That's gonna give a very moist texture to the flan. So I infuse the milk with the cream very slowly and now it's ready to go and meet the eggs. Just a little bit so both temperatures they get together and the egg doesn't curl. Always remember, the key of a good custard, it has to be silky and firm. Now, go into my ramekins. I love the color, it looks so good. So, I got my flan inside, a little bit of warm water. Tin foil is gonna do the trick into the oven. Once they're cooked, they will go straight in the fridge to cool down. Those babies, they have cooled down. See how firm they are? Now, check it out. This is so cool. Got my lovely, lovely, lovely cherries. The cherries they've been cooking porto and spices. It's gonna go so well with the flan. This is the dessert I need to eat. This is what I've been waiting for. Cherries, like my auntie used to do, and the flan, which is such a traditional dessert. Mm -mm. The cherries, they're still a little bit warm. They had all the perfume. And the flan is so silky, 
and so soft, and the caramel is just beautiful. From ocean to orchard, Basque cuisine is simple and rustic. 